Welcome to Stories Behind the Objects, where we take a close-up look at a museum of the Rockies artifact in five minutes or less. This week, let's explore some sports history at Montana State University. Whoa, not so fast, sports fans. We're actually going to shine a light on a less well-known sport at MSU, women's synchronized swimming. It's true, MSU had a women's synchronized swim club called the Dolphins from 1948 to 1969. So get your swim caps on and let's dive in. This sweatshirt in the museum's collection was designed by Dolphin standout Karen Griffin, a club member during the mid-1960s. The Dolphin swim team was a competitive club for women. Tryouts were held every fall for a limited number of spots. At tryouts, potential dolphins were required to do stunts like the barracuda, ballet legs, the porpoise, and the submarine. And of course, they needed to be able to swim and float. No sinkers allowed. Every year, the dolphins showed off their skills in a showcase performance. The yearly showcases were well attended by MSU students. Up to 500 per night came to watch the dolphins perform their original choreography set to popular music. Sweatshirt designer Karen Griffin is seen here jumping in to perform her solo in the 1966 show, which had a theme of depths in space. For this showcase, the swimmers traveled throughout the solar system and presented numbers that were outer space themed. Here you see a group of swimmers forming constellations to the song Three Stars Will Shine Tonight. Throughout the years, the team performed showcase themes such as Circus, Swim and Safari, Rock Around the Clock, and Fantasy in Blue. The Dolphins chose their own themes and music, designed their own costumes, and even partnered with the Electrical Engineering Department to include underwater colored lights in their shows. The MSU student newspaper, The Exponent, called the Dolphins' annual show some of the best entertainment this campus will ever have, and for free. Fun fact, choreography for synchronized swimming is called natatography. Objects like this sweatshirt help to show us what student life was like for women. It also reminds us that for the duration of the Dolphins' existence, opportunities in athletics were limited for women. It wasn't until 1972, with the passage of Title IX, that MSU co-eds began seeing increased opportunities for women in varsity athletics. The 1968 MSU Montana yearbook references this lack of opportunity, writing, Dolphins gives women students who are athletically inclined a chance to perform in spite of the male-oriented athletic department. MSU provided some opportunities for women athletes to participate in club sports and minor sports before Title IX. Women were represented in sports like cheerleading, rodeo, volleyball, basketball, and gymnastics, among others. However, they received little attention and fewer varsity athletic options than their male counterparts. It wasn't until after the passage of Title IX in 1972 that MSU began fielding a more equal roster of women's varsity sports, with basketball, track, swimming, tennis, and others becoming options for women in the following years. The Dolphins club supervisor and the donor of this sweatshirt, Dorothy Kenimer, had hoped to put Montana on the synchronized swimming map, which she did accomplish for a brief moment in time. A 1966 edition of the Exponent called the Dolphins one of the best precision teams in the Northwest, comparing them to military drill teams. Unfortunately, the 1969 show was the Dolphins' last. Lack of funding and interest spelled the end for the Dolphins, but over 20 school years, the club put on 19 annual showcases and helped to support the idea that women could be athletes, too.